Hey everyone, I'm Brad and welcome to Turbocharger Tech Tips. I'd like to talk about common turbocharger failures. Did you know that most causes of turbocharger failure come from issues unrelated to the turbocharger itself? Let's first talk about damaged wheels. Turbochargers require precise clearance and balance to achieve proper performance. Damage to either wheel of the turbocharger is catastrophic and will most likely end in failure through being out of balance. Now, turbocharger wheel damage is most often caused by foreign material entering the exhaust or compressor housings and ultimately damaging the wheels. These foreign materials could have come from small particles of damaged hoses, faulty air filters, broken engine components like valves, damaged pistons, or even injector tips. Some signs of foreign object damage include noisy turbochargers, a loss of performance, and most likely chipping or pitting like the wheels you see here. Next up, let's talk about lack of lubrication. Starving a turbocharger of oil for five seconds is the equivalent of starving a running engine of oil for five minutes. It's devastating. The shaft of the turbo wheel floats on a thin film of oil between it and the bearings. A lack of proper oil flow can result in catastrophic damage to the bearing system and can occur in seconds. You can tell by this failed turbocharger shaft there's a discoloration to the shaft. This is from the shaft making contact with the bearings. You will also commonly see excessive wear to the bearings when this occurs. The way to prevent this is through proper maintenance intervals, allowing your engine to idle before shutting it off, and when replacing your turbocharger always, and I mean always pre-lubricate your turbocharger during installation. With the engine turned off, simply pour engine oil through the inlet of the turbocharger while freely spinning the compressor wheel. This and more is included in our installation instructions which are in every box. Finally, let's talk about oil contamination. Commonly when we see oil contamination, we can tell by looking at the bearings of the turbocharger. Often you will see scoring marks which indicate contamination in the oil. This can occur if you have a poor quality oil filter or one that's damaged. High carbon buildup in the engine can also quickly contaminate new oil. A quick indicator of contaminated oil could be a fuel smell in the oil or noticing particulates in the oil. Always use new oil and filters to help reduce this risk. Use a filter that's recommended by the engine manufacturer and take proper precautions when servicing your vehicle to prevent accidental contamination. Turbochargers are designed to last the life of the engine. Unfortunately, failures do still happen. And when they do, OTR is here to provide you with quality turbochargers, diagnostic tools for preventing additional failures, and safe, efficient installation instructions. Well, that's all for this turbocharger tech tip. Thank you so much for watching.